Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide. And it can just throw the opposition off kilter. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, I would say Seamus Coleman is no slacker. He spends as much time in the opposition's half as he does his own. And when he commits forward, he's prepared to go the whole way. And it's earned him his fair share of goals too, so watch out for that. Can he put it away? That has skinned the post. Oh, and it's such a good effort. Maybe the target really should have been hit. Abraham, Atoma, here it comes. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Sigurdsson, Calvert-Lewin, good challenge, he just stood firm. Everton have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Towering header! He thought well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Coleman goes looking. Forward it goes. And it's El Ghazi. He's got away. Abraham. Greenish spreads it towards the left. Abraham. Well, oh, Red, he sorted that out. Bernard. Calvert Lewin. Vigne. Another side yet able to force a breakthrough here. And the ball's come out. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And he's going long. Coleman. Idris again. Gets wrestled off the ball. Abraham. Al Ghazi. Deftly done. Massive leap! A oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. It was such a clever idea to lift it into his path. Abraham, Grealish, surely he scores! Draws one in, has a pop! This could fall anywhere! In again. And that's been levered clear. 
a loose ball. It's Old Garzi. Swept in. Good clearance and very necessary. And we've reached half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. The midway point of the game. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And the action is back on the way. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. It's loose, who's getting there? Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. El Mohamedy. Grealish. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Played back in. Gets good distance on it. And checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Now that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Everton get themselves into the lead. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Now it's El Mohamedy. That looks a good ball. Oh, and he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Abraham. And the flag has stayed down. Really? The shot's on! Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, he's the spearhead to the attack, and they need to blunt his chances. And he heaves it forward. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Nicely measured pass, and he's onside. Coleman crosses it in. He's had a go. It's broken loose, and oh! Fence has got rid of that. And it's Baines. Everton are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Out towards the flank. Now it's looking to shoot. Danger averted for now. He's got away with one there.
gets good distance on it. Look at the defender bombing forward. Knocks it away. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Always in the balance. And in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. I've been in this position myself, and this will be difficult to take. They did everything right but score, but at least I suppose they can reflect on a few positives from this one. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.